Hey everybody, welcome back. Tom Balator again, this time with the first of three walkthroughs for problem set three. And in this walkthrough, I'd like to make just some very quick general observations that'll help you to get your head around this problem set. So first of all, you don't need to worry about the material on dictionaries yet. On the test, you will have to deal with this, but for the problem set, no. Actually, the problem set itself is really about functions and strings, and also lists, depending on how you decide to implement it. So if you look at the, the course homepage here, we have week three structure types, tuples and lists. I would say this is pretty important. I use lists for the way I solve the problems here, but I think you can actually, yeah, actually you can get away with just strings. Might be inefficient, but you could do it. Dictionaries, no, you don't need them. And actually I can't imagine using a dictionary for this piece set. Okay. The difficulty of this piece set, I believe, is less than the difficulty of the piece set number two. Um, it's maybe we're all just getting better at doing this code, but I think, you know, if you're looking at problems one, two, and three in this piece set, it can be 10, 15 minutes only just to code it. Yeah, seriously. And then problem four, maybe, maybe a little bit longer because you have to think about the logic a bit more, but it's really not that hard. It is, however, overwhelming, though, when you first open up that hangman.py file. Right? I remember very well when I was a student and I first got to this, the hangman game, import random word list, def loan words. Oh my, what's happening? Oh, all these comments. Oh no, fill in your code here. I felt so overwhelmed. I didn't know how to even begin to solve this problem. It's not that hard. And as you might've seen in the PSET specification, the first thing they say is do not be intimidated by this problem. It's actually easier than it looks. And that is completely true. Okay. The way though to see it in an easy way, I believe though, is to really to abstract away. And for example, I'm using this text editor called Adam. And one thing I can do in here is I can collapse sections. So for example, this were the function def loan words, I can collapse that whole function down into just a single line. It's kind of like in Microsoft Word when you have the um, outline view for um, you know, a document. If you're only looking at the titles, you're only looking at the subtitles, then you can get a better grasp of the whole flow of the document. And I actually recommend you see this problem, the original Python file, hangman.py, that you're seeing um, in terms of this. So what you've got here in the beginning here are just simply some helper functions that you don't even have to look at. And then after the helper code, You've simply got four functions that you have to implement is word guest, get guest word, get available letters, and then hangman itself. These first three are really simple. Just it's possible to do it one liners, but probably you'll have four or five lines of code for each one. Very similar to things we've seen before actually in PSETs one and PSETs two. Um, hangman itself is a little bit more difficult. So we'll talk about that in, in a little bit more detail, but it's not as overwhelming as you might think. Okay, so seeing things in the outline mode really helps. And that goes to the final point here, which is that the grader is picky, but it's not broken. Don't be thinking that just because you are getting things working, or it seems that they're working your IDE, but the grader is giving you zero points that the grader is broken. You have to be very, very specific about the formatting of the way you print things out in the grader. That's just the way it is. So those are some general hints. Let's get on to the problem set walkthrough for problems one, two, and three. Good luck. 